Welcome to Fish and Magician TV with Dave Graybill. Brought to you by Lyles Boats and Motors, Hooked on Toys, Cooley Playland, Lake Patera Zinn, Gaboon Productions, Cascade Powder Coating, and Bob File Boats and Motors. Well, it's spring, and that means things are starting to happen at Banks Lake. And that's where we are this morning with Keith Jensen of Big Wally's Guide Service. Tell you what, the walleye are waking up. It's a little early, but the smallmouth are going to be going they are. pretty soon. And some of the best rainbow fishing for big fish can be had at Banks Lake which seems to be like one of the best kept secrets for sure. in central Washington. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start off fishing for walleye and then we're also going to spend some time casting crankbaits to the shore. Not only is there a good chance of catching some big pre-spawn smallmouth doing that, but some of the biggest rainbow trout of the year are caught while doing that. Now, we're also thinking that this is a good sort of practice session for the annual Triple Fish Challenge that's a, a derby here on Banks Lake where there's prizes for the biggest walleye, the biggest trout, and the biggest smallmouth bass. So we're going to try all of it today. All three of it. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep. We're going to try to knock all three of them out of the park. Um, yeah, that, and that, that's why they have the tr that challenge now uh -huh. is because, you know, the rainbow fish, the rainbows are shallow, and so you can target them. Um, the bass are just moving shallow, um, which is a great time to catch a big smallmouth, like you mentioned, right now pre-spawn, and then the walleye, they're cooking as soon as the ice comes off. So Exactly. So yep. it's a really exciting time to be on Banks Lake, which is a year-round great asset up here for recreation in central Washington. And I can't tell you how excited I am to get on the water today, so let's get out and do it. Yeah, this is... Uh the old cha-cha squitter from Max Lure that these little squitters I've uh, had good success with those like at Moses Lake and even potholes and the white color seems to be a good one although last time we were up here at Banks blue was the color and they make them in a lot of different colors so that's the one thing about walleye, you gotta have a lot of different what you do. Colors of spinners and blades and this one and then over here, a nice this setup. Again a Max product. It's got the smile blade and I've got a night crawler on it's covering up the hook, but it's the hook on here is the slow death hook. Oh okay. It's the slow death combo where the hook is all bent up. Like I said, I know it's tough to see probably with the night crawler on there. But again, now this one's a little short chartreuse, so there's two colors we're starting with and a little, just a little different bait, just to kind of get these walleye figured out what they want today. Now is that one that you put together yourself? Keith? Nope, this, this one came, this one's straight okay, from Max. Okay, right off the shelf. Yep. yep. Okay. The challenge with walleye fishing isn't the selection of rods and reels or baits or anything else. It's when to set the hook when you're getting a walleye bite. It drives you crazy. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> You're using these night crawlers that will extend to 10 inches behind your hooks when you get them down there. And what they'll do, they start at the back. <laughs> they start working their way up. It can be, some of the bites can be so aggressive that when you pull up your rig, your worm is folded over the top of your lure. And other times you'll pull it up and the very tip of the night crawler is gone. So it's a frustrating thing. You certainly do not want to jerk when you first see that tap. That just means they're interested. <laughs> it, and it's, like I say, it varies wildly from an aggressive hit to these just peck, 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 working it up to a lot of times it's just your rod tip gets heavy and it just bends down. And I don't know, my average is about one out of three. Yeah, he's <laughs> down here, but he's a little guy. Yeah, I mean, little, 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 little. little. That's the right species. He broke the ice. Right species, but just a little tad bit too small. Banks is full of this size. And bigger, you know, this size, you know, they got to be 16 inches to keep on banks. And there are a lot of fish um, under 16. A lot of keepers too, but so you got to go through a lot of these little guys, little walleye, which is good for the future, obviously. Mm -hmm. But um, you're weeding through these guys to get, you know, catch some keepers. Well, at least you didn't get all your worms. No, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Crawler looks, still looks good. We'll let him get back in there. Oh, yeah. No worse for the wear. No, he's, he's, yeah. he's small. He's small. Now that you, you hooked him, so. That's <laughs> how so it's been. It's been a lot of shorts. I mean, those are really short, but uh, a lot of those little guys in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There he is. That's what we're thing. looking for right there. Look at that. That's a 20 incher. Pretty close. 1920. Oh yeah. Good job. Awesome. Look at that beauty. Perfect eating size. Oh Keith, way to go. In the holder. Now that was definitely a different bite there. It we, we watched that one. Yeah, and notice how I mean it, it just went. It, it, there was a tap, and then it just loaded up. Yep. That, that's what that's what you want to see every time. Yeah, it's a oh. And that one came on that slow death with a purple <clears throat> smile blade. So whether or not that's going to be the ticket or not, one fish doesn't tell you the whole story, but it's a start. We'll stick this one in live well. That's a well, good go through, start. A, go through a few little ones to get a yeah. nice one like that. That's worth it. Definitely. It, it is, and that's that's been the story. I mean, I, I haven't really kept count of how many shorts you got to go through, like on average, yeah. five or six, seven or eight. I don't know. It's it's somewhere in there before you get a keeper on banks, but it's worth it. Look, uh, probably don't need it. Look at that. Go, great going, Keith. Oh man, look at that. I'm gonna have to come back here. That's one thing. I might need the net actually. <laughs> yeah, right. This boat, boat's a little bit higher. Good looking smallmouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? Not that big, really. Um, nice, good average size fish, but boy, they're in here, they're a lot bigger than that right now in here. Look at that. At least it's a start. April 9th. I was just going to have you uh, tell us, Dave, we've changed a little of an approach and we've gone to a different area. Can you guys... That's right. Again, in the spirit of the Triple Fish Challenge, <laughs> we decided to uh, switch gears. We already got a nice keeper walleye in the live well. Now we switched to smallmouth bass. Keith, I think that was your third cast. Third cast, yeah. And bang, oh, here's a nice smallmouth. You know, I'm going to tell you something about the smallmouth. Um, here on Banks Lake, you know, people always think about bass and the water temperature. I'm gonna tell you, I think a lot of it is the length of the day. You, you hit ap about April 1st, give or take a couple of days, and there's something internal in these fish 
that, that are telling them to go from deep to shallow, and I think it's the length of the amount of sunlight. It's not, it's not water temperature, because I've seen it too many times where the fish are deep, and then we got a, uh, and then the water, and then the, we get a, you know, a cold front come in, and it's actually colder that week, but the next week they're still shallow. They move, they, they, they move in. Just the length of sunlight, yep. more sunlight. Yep. Just tells them. Well, that's great. And we're, uh, by the way, we're in kind of the top edge of uh, the Devil's Punch Bowl now here on Banks Lake. And that's a good sign. I think we're going to get a few. And the opportunity to catch a big rainbow while we're casting yes. these plugs is very good. <laughs> Maybe not three, but he's good. Oh, my goodness. Sweet. I knew when he grabbed it. <laughs> Keith, that was something else. Awesome. Yeah, yeah there was that... Uh, Look at that little guy. <laughs> Fantastic. I thought, wait a minute. I couldn't be hung up there. <laughs> nice fish. This is prime real estate. That's a pretty good one. Another two and a half, probably two and a half. Probably about the same size as that one you just got. Oh, I do not like how those are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not a little chunk. There we go. Very nice bone now. Yeah. Pretty this time of year. They wow. are pretty. Jeez. Eric, you might have a big fish here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah, same size. Yep. Nice. This is fast and furious. Yeah, how about that? Ah, uh, way to go. Let's see here. Getting out of the net. April there. what today? Yeah. What is today? Yeah, I'm telling you. The ninth. Yeah, it's, the ninth. It's, it's, it's prime Small time. Smallmouth on April 9th. How about love that? It. I love it. And you know, another thing is that we're inside the Devil's Punch Bowl, and this, is, this spot warms up the fastest on, on banks. And so, you know, where we started walleye fishing this morning, it was around 40 degrees. You know, we're here, we got a 10 degree difference right here. This, this warms up the fastest, so it gets going faster than, you know, for, for, the, for the smallmouth like that. Good one. <laughs> yeah, Beauty. It. Awesome. Thanks, man. Awesome. Let's go get some more. Yeah. Wow. Holy cow! Look at that dude! <laughs> <laughs> My good. Oops, sorry. You know what? Okay. I'm gonna say that's the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught on banks. Right there. Really? <laughs> Pretty darn close. <laughs> that's a That's beauty. a four pounder. I don't know if he's the biggest, but he's up there. How about that? Wow. That's what I like about these nets. Oh, I know. Look at that. That is a gorgeous smallmouth. <laughs> This is so cool. That's a big one. That's easily a four pound smallmouth. Oh yeah. Again, it's that, that three fish from that same spot right in there. Yep. I'm gonna show you guys, we'll show you. There's just some rocks and this is that rocky flat and then there's, it comes, goes up to about two or three feet yeah. and they're right on the edge of that where it goes from two to three to six. Yeah. And now you're using a flicker shad. Yep. And that's got a couple of fish. I've got the bomber. Uh, in a crawdad pattern, and that's got a couple of fish. And then uh, Eric's got the shad wrap. Shad wrap, and that's caught a fish. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's a big one. Ooh, look at that swirl! Oh my goodness, look at that fish! <laughs> oh Lord! Another that's pig. Insane. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> wow. Holy smokes. <laughs> Another no, nice. Not quite fish. as big, but boy, he's nice. <laughs> that's pretty good. had just casted where Keith had been telling me to cast. <laughs> and he says, 
that's the one. He says, you're going to get a fit. I mean, half a second later, bam. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Beauty fish. Yeah. Isn't that something? What you got there, Dave? I got a handful of smallmouth. Oh, that's that. a large mouth. No, it is a smallmouth. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she -ha! That is fun stuff, I'll tell you. No, no doubt when they want that plug. Yeah, no, we just switched gears. You know, <laughs> we were on our way back up late. Keith decided, you know, there's a spot. He turned around and said, there's a spot I want to try for rainbow over here. We hadn't had our clickers down, the bait set, for 15 feet. Yeah, and bango, look at that rainbow. Not a big one, but we'll take them. Beautiful. Boy, pretty That's fish. Beauty. Pretty fish. Very nice. On that single hook. And now we're, he's running a ripping minnow that he's converted to two single sidewash hooks instead of troubles. Yeah, it comes with troubles. And I just find... Um, Your hookups are just the, great, aren't they? Miss a lot of fish on that troubles, yeah. on those, with those troubles, but on this with these singles, And I tell you, this feather stick rod, what a beautiful rod for this. It's awesome. It's super light. It would be a great kokanee rod. And when these rainbow, look at that rainbow. That's a gorgeous fish. When it hit, there's no doubt. <laughs> that was tremendous. Come on. Beautiful rainbow trout. We'll stick them in the box. Yeah. We got it. We got the three anyway. <laughs> That's right. Triple fish challenge. Keith made it look easy, man. We romped on the smallmouth over there on the other side, and that was a kick. And now I think we're probably going to catch a few rainbow. <laughs> I tell you what, we didn't go far trolling that ripping minnow, and they ripped it. They ripped it. That is fun stuff. I, 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 <laughs> I just barely set that in the holder. Man, crowding the shoreline like you're doing. I mean, I'm looking at the rocks. We are scraping the rocks. And that's where they are. Look at that. Oh, wow. Spring rainbow. Oh. How are you liking there that? How are you liking that feather stick? Oh rod? my goodness, that is just perfect for this. Great coconut rod too. About the same size, I think. I bet these rainbow are going to be so good in the pan. Oh. Look how deep it is. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Eric? I like it. This is a kick. All right. In right. the well. Another that pretty baby's going to go home with another us. Another pretty rainbow. Nice coloration. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, oh yeah. Ooh, that one's staying. That one, well, oh, yeah, same size. Just back there, ways. It tastes good. Yep. I thought you said it was slow up here. Back behind the boat there. Eric's got on. Uh, yeah, he's still there. Uh, yeah, he's there. Is he there? Came on the shad wrap. Yeah, man, Keith, you were talking earlier about your fishing so close, you put your line way back. Yes, way back, because I do think we spook a few fish. And by putting the lines way back, Kind of gives them time to come, you know, if they, if they spook out, they come right back in and you catch them. I'm going to take my lesson from you and use your hooking technique next time. This is a good fish. This feels like it's got some 
shoulders, huh? Yeah, it does. Looks like it's got some weight to them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good walleye. Good walleye. Holy cow, look at that. Very good. Yeah, that's a good one. Jiminy Christmas. There's another dandy. Good job, Key. Awesome. Getting the hook in him. Whew. Nope. Get oh. him. Man, he was chewing and chewing mine, the whole time I was too. talking. Look at the fish we're marking, too. Oh, I had mine on there for a second. Oh, man, he caught it. It's gone. It's gone. Yep. Fish. A little short. Gosh, look at that. Those arches there. Yeah. Just a tad bit too short. So you've got a blue spile blade on a couple of pills, blue pills. Yep. A couple of blue beads. They like that. They do. Yep. Yeah. Missed one a little bit, it'll go on it too. Good deal. Maybe. Uh, I think he's a shorty. No, no, he's close. Is he? Yeah. He's close. Oh yeah. He's close. We could bump him. I don't know. He's he gonna be tight. Go. He might go. I have to put the tape to that yeah. one. That one might just do it. But long. <laughs> long with is what counts. He is long, <laughs> boy, he is skinny. <laughs> <laughs> well, Keith Jensen, this was a great day on Banks Lake, I'll tell you. You know, we came up here with the challenge of trying to catch three different species, walleye, smallmouth bass, and rainbow trout. And I thought, well, walleye, yeah, this time of year you can probably catch some walleye, you know. Smallmouth bass, this is awful early. This is gonna be tough. And rainbow, yeah, sure, we could probably catch some rainbow. Actually, we had the best fishing for smallmouth bass out of anything By else. far, yeah, yeah. And, you know, Keith thought we would too. He knows banks well enough to know and the places to go well enough that we romped on smallmouth bass. It was fun. Walleye fishing was tough today, but we still got three keepers in the cooler and we only spent part of our day doing that mm -hmm. and we didn't spend that much time fishing for rainbow trout either but we got some dandies as well so i'll tell you what this is just a great showcase for what can happen in the early spring really here at banks lake and i tell you i would wouldn't you say this is banks lake is probably a good spot to come in the springtime oh for, big time for everything i mean you know like we did today for multi-species or if you want to just target one springtime everything is just get, getting going it's a great time to be here oh it really is you know and poor keith said, okay we got some walleye well now we got to let's try this for okay now let's try this he did it all and we had a great time doing it Thank you so much, Keith, for just a great day on the water here at Banks Lake. And if you want to have a great day, not only in Banks Lake, but several other different waters here in central Washington for walleye and bass and even rainbow trout, Keith Jensen, Big Wally's Guide Service. Go to BigWallysGuideService.com to find your website, yep. and you'll find all the other contact information there. Thanks for watching Fish and Magician TV with Dave Graybill. Brought to you by Bob File Boats and Motors, Cascade Powder Coating, Gaboon Productions, 
Lake Pateras Motor Inn, Cooley Playland, Hooked on Toys, and Lyles Boats and Motors.